Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill, and today I am starting my journey to try to stand Phineas, or Phineas O'Connell. Yes. You guys voted, and here I am. I'm excited. A lot of people have been recommending his music to me. I did see him live at Summerfest. He opened for Billie Eilish, but I know that he's Billie Eilish's brother. I know that they work very closely together, and apparently he was in Glee. I did not know that. We're gonna start with Claudia. It is a lyric video, but I will be throwing it up so you have something to look at other than me. I think you're gonna change my plan. Oh. You don't even understand. Ooh. Feels like I'm breathing in and out without permission. Good lyrics. But I'd love to drive you home. That's chivalrous of you. It's got a good sound. Feels like I'm breathing in and out without permission. Okay. Little voice waver there. Little lilt. Drive you home. There you go. That's not how you kiss. That's CPR. Wow. I really liked the vibe of that. Like a less intense, like kind of grunge kind of sound. Kind of like a uh, gorillas. I really liked that. Or the subject matter is a little traditional, but it's the verbiage of it. These lyrics are so interesting and they have such a strong dynamic. He has a soft way about his voice, but then when he like really drove it home towards the end, it just, it had such a stronger presence and impact. And you felt this next layer of emotion, almost like you're kind of getting to know the person telling the story, singing the song, which is the face of the relationship that he's in with this Claudia. And I, I really like that. It felt light, but personal. It felt like the start of something. And the more it kept exploring, the more it kept growing. It was the same way musically too. Like it starts with like that techno raindrop kind of sound. And then the guitar kicked in and the percussion started to swell. And it felt like it was just growing and being more developed. It's just good lyrics and a good sound. I'm sorry. I understand understand the lyric filling my lungs with air, but when it's under such romantic pretenses, I pictured someone making out and then just getting like breathed down. <laughs> But I understand, like, giving him life, helping cultivate change and a new dynamic and a new interest in someone's life. I get it, but it made me think of a girl who kissed me and I would get resuscitated. It wasn't pleasant. But I really like that song. That song was pleasant. Next we have New Girl and the official music video. You're getting it first here, folks. Definitely didn't drop six months ago. I like the way you buy. Ooh, gotten a little, uh, sexier in our sound. Scratch your surface. I wanna feel your groove. Ooh. That's an Eilish sound. It's like the music is related to each other. Wanna scratch your surface? Crap, I like that lyric. Tell me something no one knows. Oh, that's some fancy Phineas. You wanna play with fire? Oh, damn. Did she hit him with a shovel? Been there. Oh no, she's dangerous. Yeah, dude really knows how to produce his sound. The more it started to get that like phonograph sound in there, it, it just really complimented his voice well. I really like his voice. I don't know, there was something about it where just the way it was shot was a little gorilla style shaky cam. It had this adolescent, younger gorilla, more indie style way of filming it. And then with the subject material of young, I won't say, love relationships driving with a bottle of wine and a map and just see where we go that whole aesthetic fits so well with how it was filmed let's just go for it that reckless abandonment keeping it thematic it really plays well and it's just it shows that a lot of talented people are at work here and on top of that the song was just good when it shifted gears and when the different chords would hit the different audio distortions would kick in it had like that clunk and that shifting gear of like that loose sand to walk on. It legitimately felt like someone who was being pulled around. There you go, he gets smacked in the head with a shovel, as you do. It kept alluding to some sort of danger and I was like, we get it, Romeo and Juliet ending, they're gonna Thelma and Louise off the cliff. Nah, she the bad guy, duh. But no, it was her, it was the relationship, it was the uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. I really liked that. And I love all oh, the lyrics. I wanna scratch the surface. Next we have I Lost a Friend. Oh, I'm going through a lot right now this week. I lost a friend. Like keys in a sofa. <laughs> like money on a bad bed. <laughs> no one be alright, but I'm not tonight. No, no. I'm on the mend. Like I'm wearing a neck brace. 
All right, there's some freaky shit in that field, dude. And I'll be fine without him, but all I do is write about him. Okay, moves like Jagger. That was really good. I lost a friend, I lost a friend. I Jesus, oh my God. Well, sh well, that was beautiful. Really well shot. I, I love that it was done in one shot. That's amazing. His movements were really precise, very well executed. His voice though, like that that cry as he's like being surrounded by the, the people, the figures, the shadows moving past him, the faces he's not concentrating on. Holy crap, that's, that's a skill. And it just, it felt really personal. Obviously autobiographical with lyrics like you're making too much money when you're 20 to be upset. And it's that disassociation from saying things like that, like, you know, Clearly people focusing on fame or money or his age, they're not really listening to him. It's that discrediting feeling. It's that, that attack on your experience. People are telling you to focus on other things, but this is what he writes about. This is what he thinks about. These are the things that are affecting him. The song didn't lose control. It didn't rise. It didn't erupt with emotion. It just kept staying so cold and so placid. And there's something about that that just feels so genuine, like him physically, but then also musically, he was just in a daze, but then there was just this wave, this this like electric, felt like that buzzing, the sound happening around you and not being able to register it or hear it. It felt like someone who's just completely phased out and in a daze. That's such a powerful, successful way to illustrate that. I loved it. That, that hurt. I, oh Jesus. The lyrics too, especially the beginning with the, I lost a friend like I lost my keys or your wallet. Like just that, like, it, like it's not registering yet or it just felt so sudden and out of your control. And I don't know, to me, there's just that little bit of like, well, maybe I'll find it, maybe it'll be okay. Like that, that like naive hope. Ironically, as he sings about people discrediting him for his age, there's something so innocent about that too. It's just, it, it, it hits that extra layer. I really liked that. That, that song would have had to fight the fray on its best day and probably would have won. On that note, all right, whew. Next we have Angel. He's got it made. I've got an angel, I've got it made. The song? Don't look at me like that. No? Mm -mm. F you. <laughs> It's like a really sad office intro. You're in it. Oh! That's where Avengers happened. Uh -huh. Woo! Crap, dude! You're the home I'm missing. Nice. That's good. Beside a dream. Ooh! There you go. Ah! Why does it feel like something really bad happened? My Oh, thank God, it's a love angel. It's not a dead person angel. Oh, there you go, dude. Yeah! That's, that hurts my eyes to look at. I, wow. I don't know how else to describe this. That felt like a real, like, banger of a slow dance at prom. Like, that's a real look me in the eye, experience this song with me kind of a feeling. I was so scared that this was gonna have, like, a real bad twist. Like, you're an angel because, you know, you're dead. But instead, like, sincere just admiration of somebody. Not just like, hey, like, I like your smile and your hair and, you know, you got, you got good old biddies. Like, like it was just straight up how this person makes the person singing the song a better person. You just felt this like rising, this increasing heartbeat. You just, you can feel the song fluttering. Like it just, it makes you excited, but yet you could feel like these musical breaks where it's this timid gingerness of not wanting to overdo it or like you don't want to scare someone away. Like it felt very delicate. Like this is the first time you're saying I love you to someone. And dude's voice. There was some tough stuff happening there and he just made it sound so effortless. Like his voice would literally just slide up and just soar. Waiting until the very end to ask, are you mine? Like, are we together? It makes the song about the person, like whoever that song's about, it's a lucky person. It's just more delicate than, hey, I'm gonna win you. I'm gonna take you. You're mine, property. Are you mine? Like, are you 
Do you feel this way too? Do you also want to explore this relationship? Are we together? And yeah, I would slow dance the hell out of that song. All right, next we have I'm In Love Without You, which sounds kind of like a breakup song. <laughs> his voice there. Woo, yeah. That one might be my favorite so far. Just owning up to the fact that they weren't good together on both ends and like, hey, you're gonna move on. You know, maybe you won't keep score with this next person, but you're still in my dreams. Like he's still trying to do the same thing. He's literally wishing for her what he wants for himself as well. Like just to move on. I love that. There was no getting back together at the end or like, oh man, I love you so much. My knuckles were bloody. No, like it was bad. Like they weren't good together. Don't feel the same way about you now that I did before this, let's focus on moving on and learning and growing. Like, yeah, a little, a little twist of the knife, a little salt in the wound, but I feel like ultimately it was the mistakes that we made together, not making that again with the next person. There's something that just has so much more of an impact and it illustrates so much more of an interesting dynamic and character and feeling than just, I hate you and wish bad things upon you and your vehicle. It was such a genuine need for progression, but still like having feelings for someone like that doesn't really go away given certain circumstances there are outcomes to relationships where it didn't work out but you still care about the person and you just want them to find that better thing with someone else you still want them to be happy and sometimes i think that's the path to go down is hoping that both of you could just improve and take what you've learned and find the person you're meant to be with and implement what you learned there that was beautiful I was worried for his voice a couple times because dude was shouting and I'm like, not those pipe, but it sounded so good. And he just started just floating above and it just sounded so like, like stepping back, just like, this is what I want. I want us to get over each other and learn and grow and just setting it out into the universe. And then also visually, there's something about going to the movies where first it started like, oh man, like we were together, like things were so great, like they're on a date, clearly. It made me think of how you kind of romanticize the relationship you had or what's coming moving forward or like being a little over dramatic in what you expect to happen because you're just, you're feeling so much pain or you're feeling so much that you start to kind of have this fantasy in front of you. But it felt like his fantasy wasn't like, oh man, now she you know on a jet so much better without me it was just her just being happy but still kind of being trapped in that limbo of like like you still care you don't want to ask you don't want to reconnect but you kind of want to know that they're okay it didn't give me a stalker vibe i don't think that's what it was going for if it was i missed it and i apologize stalking people is bad that unrealistic want to just check in and be like did you get better like did you find someone good like are you happy now are you okay like can concern and distant admiration. Like I'm not stepping in. I'm not gonna be the person to do that for you. It clearly didn't work out, but still wanting that person to be happy and get what they want. Sometimes the hardest decision is to decide to walk away. There's a lot going on there. That was a musical lasagna of layers of emotions. I love that. I love being challenged by music and this one really did it. Be happy, not with me. I wish this had worked out, but it didn't. We're gonna be better later, bye. I really like that. That That's that slapped. Slapped, slaps. Is it an active verb? Is it a past tense verb? Break my heart again. I'm like, that's a good song title. Hey you. Hey. I'm just now leaving. Uh -oh. You can't help it if your mind has changed. Ooh, I like his voice. Who lets you break them twice? Oh, sh. It's not the truth when you say you I'm fine. Ah, uh, what, miss? Ah, uh, a metaphor, a shirt within a shirt. Are you the definition of insanity? Yeah, dude, that's my favorite lyric in the song. Who lets you break them twice? Who? 
I love that ending that is so somber, very upsettingly relatable. Like this is the eye-opening moment. The last straw broke the camel's straw. The last straw on the camel's back. That lyric is just, it just kept circling around in my brain every time he said it. The, are you the definition of insanity or am I? Who's the one with the problem with repeated behavior? Who's the one who keeps coming back for more expecting change? His movements in it and like that slight distortion, it wasn't even a complete distortion. He wasn't like bending in crazy knots, but it was just enough. It was that frustrating purgatory of it all. There was no decision because it's that frustration that he's having with himself, with this person, trapped and stagnant. Like he said, definition of insanity, repeating yourself, expecting a different outcome. I remember this song from Summerfest. He said this was an actual text conversation because he was texting with the whoop, whoop. How angelic are your fights where you can say something that beautiful? But maybe it was just taking a little liberties, a little repetition. Can you imagine just fighting with someone and it's like, who's the definition of insanity? You or me, but probably, which which one of us is crazy? Which one is the crazy bitch? <laughs> which, take me down, you sexy thing, you. Hey, you're a crazy bitch, because I dream doing you all night. That's the opposite of this song. <laughs> I already, it felt so organic anyway. This didn't feel like he created this character who broke up with someone or is having a bad time in a relationship. It felt very genuine and grounded. And I think that's my favorite thing about his music. It feels like musical documentation of just his experiences and emotions. And he's not always painted to be the best guy there. It's very self-aware and it feels like someone trying to learn, improve, and then share what he's experienced and learn with others in the hopes that other people don't go through that. And it, but it doesn't feel self-servicing. It's not, no one's had it as bad as me. It's, this is what happened to me and articulating that for others. I really like his stuff. I'd have to be in the right mood because ooh, a lot of this stuff takes me to a place. I can't be doing that and then go into the gym. And to be so open about that with people, him and Billy, that's, that's incredible. Yes. Would you say you've scratched the surface on Phineas? <laughs> you. <laughs> If there's more of his music you want me to listen to, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you did, subscribe if you want more. Thank you so much to everyone who voted. I can't wait to do BTS and Lil Nas X. I can't wait to do other artists and more things with you guys. Don't forget, this Saturday I'm going live August 3rd at 3 o'clock. Join me there, won't you? Hang out, ask questions. It's a live Q&A while I figure out how to set up a live Q&A. It'll be fun learning experiences for all. Can't wait to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic night. Stay standing. Keep standing. Stay standing. Yes. Specify Central Standard Time. I'm gonna put it in the text. Okay. I'll just say stay standing and then the video will end. Okay. That's it. Nothing after that. Okay, bit's done. Kill it. <laughs>